Hello guys, it's me your mom Jo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you like and subscribe. You have learned about concentration of solutions and there are two ways on how to express percent concentration of solutions such as percent by mass and percent by volume. For today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve problem solving using the formula of percent by mass and percent by volume. We use the formulas percent by mass is equal to mass solute divided by mass solution times 100. Percent by volume is equal to volume solute divided by volume solution times 100. This time, let us put into application all that you have learned about concentration of solutions. Let us start solving problems in percent by mass. Again, the formula that we are going to use by percent by mass is equal to mass solute divided by mass solution times 100. Problem number 1. What is the percent by mass of a salt solution by dissolving 11 grams of salt in 80 grams solutions? Before solving the given problem, let us first identify what are given, what is being asked or required, and what formula we are going to use. In problem number 1, the given are 11 grams, which is the mass solute, and 80 grams, which is the mass solution. What is being asked? Percent by mass. And the formula that we are going to use is mass solute divided by mass solution times 100. Now, we will simply substitute all the given values. So, 11 grams, which is the mass solute, divided by 80 grams which is the mass solution times 100. The first thing that we will do is to cancel the unit in order for us to get the percentage. And if we divide 11 by 80, it will be 0 0.1375. And there are still 100. So we should multiply 0 0.1375 by 100 and the result will be 13.75%. Let's proceed problem number 2. What is the percent concentration of sugar solution that contains 8 grams of sugar dissolve in 15 grams of water. In this given problem, the given are 8 grams mass solute and 15 grams mass solvent. Notice that in this problem, it does not give you the total mass of solution, but rather the mass of solvent is given. But remember 
that in order to get the amount of solution, you simply add solute plus solvent. What is being asked? Percent by mass. What formula we are going to use? Percent by mass is equal to mass solute divided by mass solution times 100. Let us substitute 8 grams, which is the mass of solute. And then in order for us to get the mass of solution, we simply add 8 grams, which is the solute, and 15 grams, which is the solvent. And it will give us 8 grams divided by 20 grams times 100. Remember to cancel the unit. And if we divide 8 by 23, it will give us 0 0.23. 347 but we still have to multiply it by 100 so it will give us 34.8 percent now let's proceed to problem number three let us twist your brain a little bit how many grams of sodium chloride are present in 250 ml salt solution containing 9% sodium chloride? In this given problem, the given are 250 ml salt solution and 9% concentration of NaCl. What is being asked? Mass of solute. And the formula is percent by mass is equal to mass solute divided by mass solution times 100. Notice that we cannot simply solve the problem using the formula percent by mass because this can only be used if the percentage of concentration is required however we can use a conversion factor in order to solve this problem using the same formula so let us substitute the given values so 9% NaCl is equal to X divided by 250 ml. So we will let X be the mass solute because we still need to solve for the mass of NaCl. Okay. So times 100, if this is not applicable because the percent by mass is already given so 9% NaCl is the solution meaning there are 9 grams per 100 ml okay. so yeah and then if we divide 9 grams by 100 ml it will give us 0 0.09 grams per ml equal to x divided by 250 ml and in order to cancel ml we simply multiply both sides by 250 ml and then cancel the unit and then what are being left are x is equal to 250 times 0 0.09 grams and then if we multiply these two 
it will give us a total of 22.5 grams NaCl in a 250 ml salt solution. Okay, let's proceed by percent by volume. And the formula we are going to use here is volume solute divided by volume solution times 100. Let us put it into application by solving problem number 4. So, a solution contains 50 ml ethanol in 300 ml of alcohol solution. What is the percent by volume concentration of solution? Okay, in this given problem, the given R, 50 ml volume solute and then the 300 ml which is the volume solution. What is being asked? Percent by volume. And the formula we are going to use here is volume solute divided by volume solution times 100. Okay, let us substitute the given values. Okay, so 50 ml which is the volume solute and then 300 ml is the volume solution. So the first thing that we will do is to cancel the unit in order for us to get the percentage. Okay, cancel the unit and if we divide 50 by 300, it will give us 0.16. But we still need to multiply it by 100. So 0 0.16 times 100, it will give us 16% ethanol. Okay, let's proceed in problem number 5. A bottle of hydrogen peroxide, also known as agua oxinada, is labeled 3% by volume. How many ml of agua oxinada are in 500 ml bottle of this solution? This given problem, the given R, 500 ml which is the volume solution and 3% is the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. What is being asked is volume of solute and the formula here is percent by volume is equal to volume solute divided by volume solution times 100. So notice that we cannot simply solve the problem using the formula percent by volume because this can only be used if the percentage of concentration is required. However, we can use a conversion factor in order to solve this problem using the same formula. So let us substitute the formula. Okay, so 3% hydrogen peroxide is equal to X divided by 500 ml. So, we will let X be the volume solute because we still need to solve for the volume solute of hydrogen peroxide. 
Remember that multiplying it by 100 is not applicable because the percent by volume is already given. So, 3% hydrogen peroxide, meaning there are 3 ml by 100 ml. So, the first thing that we should do is to cancel the unit ml and if we divide 3 by 100, it will give us 0 0.03 equals to x divided by 500 ml. And then, if we are going to cancel ml, we should multiply it both side by 500 ml. So, cancel the unit ml and then it will give us 500 ml times 0 0.03. So, as you can see, the right side, the unit ml is being cancelled while on your left side, there is still ml okay so again x is equal to 500 ml multiply by 0 0.03 so if we multiply that 2 it will give us x is equal to 15 ml or the x is the volume solute okay So please don't forget to like and hit the bell button for updated ka sa mga latest uploads. Kindly subscribe Jump PH. Maraming salamat po. 1000 times and more to go. Thank you for watching. May God bless you and stay safe.